Welcome to Channel 2S everybody, I'm your host Second Soundwave and today we're going to be looking at the completed real grade Unicorn Gundam. And I've never seen the general community opinion of a kit turn around as fast as it did with this. Almost everyone in the community, including myself, was convinced that this kit was going to be an absolute train wreck. Then it got released and within hours people were already loving it. And I can totally see why. But is it really perfect? Well, right now let's talk about Unicorn Mode. I guess it looks good enough. I will freely admit that I've never really been a fan of Unicorn Mode. I've always kind of preferred the Destroy Mode, and seeing it here in front of me right now doesn't really change my opinion on it. There are a lot of people out there that really do like the Unicorn Mode, and that's fine. It's just something I've never really been a fan of. So this is all you're going to see of it. So to transform this into Destroy Mode, you just have to remove, 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 open, open. You're going to be seeing a lot of this pinned in this video, and I definitely recommend having something similar to this handy when you transform the kit yourself. Remove, rotate, attach, close. Rotate, attach, attach, dramatic horn reveal. You know, I probably should have worked my way up from the feet and ended with a dramatic head reveal. Oh well. Lift and remove. And that's technically not necessary, but it makes it easier. Rotate, 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 rotate. Open, open, remove, remove. And again, that's not necessary, but it does help a bunch. Gently wiggle, rotate, gentle wiggle, rotate. Open, open, unlatch, lift, relatch, lift, gently, come on. This is easily the most frustrating part of the transformation. Pull, close, do all that shit again for the other side. Lift, rotate, adjust, carefully lower, continue to adjust. If it looks something like this, you probably did it right. Do it all again, reattach, reattach, open, 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 open. Grab this little peg and slide it up, slide it up, rotate. Rotate, open, extend, close, open, adjust, open, adjust. And what I found works best right here is to grab a little pin tool and basically push on the back of this piece from the inside and that should just pop it right out just like that. Now you rotate and connect, connect, open, open, extend, close, rotate, Rotate, lift, rotate, adjust, rotate, adjust, rotate, adjust, open, shit. Extend, close, open, adjust, open, adjust, push, attach, adjust, open, open, extend, close, adjust, lift, adjust, adjust, open, rotate, 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 adjust, reattach. And after all that, he's finally in destroy mode. The transformation definitely leans on the more frustrating side, but it is a very good looking and very solid end result. There's still a few areas like the shoulders and the back skirts that can get knocked around a little if you're not too careful with it. But for the most part, this kit is solid as hell. And that is why everyone's been loving it. However, the question not enough people have been asking is, is that really a good thing? Because yes, this kit is plugged by none of the loose part issues that the Master Grade had, and yes, it does hold a pose superbly well, but there are also times where it feels like it's gonna tear itself apart. The inner frame of this kit is, for the most part, made of ABS plastic, and even the parts that aren't are still very tight. The shoulder section especially is very scary to move, and from what I've heard, some people have even broken it. But how much movement do you get out of this kit? Well, I'm glad you asked. He barely looks up, kind of looks down, rotation, shoulder pads go up, arm goes up, bicep swivel, gentle, gentle, gentle rotation. This whole upper arm assembly is super scary. Very nice elbow, every gumpla hand ever. His torso has a really big gap in it, but I didn't see it on any of the promotional pictures, so I'm gonna assume I just fucked something up when I was building it. He's got some pretty great side bend. There doesn't seem to be any way for the torso to bend forward and back. I mean, there might be some kind of joint forward in there, but with how fragile this kit is and how many moving parts there are here, I'm not gonna risk it. The cockpit does open if that's your kind of thing. Limited waist swivel, but if you pull it up over that bump, you get a lot more. All the skirt armor is on a ball joint hinge combo and never, ever, ever gets in the way. The hips are on this funky joint that lets them go from here to here. Full split in every direction. Tight ass thigh swivel. Fantastic knee bend. Excellent ankle tilt. And a ball joint at the top of the foot cover allows it to move in tandem with the foot. Ankle goes from here to here. And there's a full ankle rotation. Articulation on the real grade unicorn is fantastic. But unlike a kit like the RX-78 Revive, this one really isn't meant to be messed with. It's very much a pose, place, and forget kind of kit. Good thing he's got some pretty awesome accessories. You've already seen a bit of the shield for Unicorn Mode, and for Destroy Mode, you just extend, rotate, rotate, attach, and attach again. And the shield looks pretty awesome. Alternatively, you could attach the shield to the back of his arm, and you can slide this part up and down as well. 
In addition to the shield, you get closed fists, open palms, and weapon-holding hands for both sides. It seems like Bondi has been shying away from including articulated hands in their newer real grades. Can't say it's that big of a loss. Now would also be a good time to talk about the V-Fin. You get three different options for it. The transforming one that's on the kit right now, this one that's stuck in unicorn mode, and this one that's stuck in destroy mode. Another difference you'll notice between these two fins is that I used the standard default stickers for the opening fin and then the static fin I actually colored in with a gold Gundam marker. My painting skills are pretty terrible but I still really like how this came out. If you don't have one already, definitely grab a gold Gundam marker if you're going to build this kit. For melee encounters, the RG Unicorn has tonfas that fold out of the forearms and removable saber handles on the backpack. And these are in here very securely, almost too securely. While I'm changing out the hands to show you the beam sabers, I'm gonna mention that when you're changing this guy's hands in destroy mode, you do wanna be very careful and make sure that you hold onto it by this front part of the arm because if you don't, and you try to push this in, you'll just end up collapsing this part in. And there are some little locks and tabs in here that you could possibly break if you do that. Like with everything else on this kit, it's better to err on the side of caution. Pink blade effects are included for both beam weapons, and they look about as cool as you'd expect. Let's talk about the rifle. The energy magazine's technically molded in the wrong color, but as a whole, it still looks pretty awesome. Oh, and speaking of the magazine, you can also extend, remove, and attach, and store it on his waist armor, which is pretty cool. And then the gun itself can attach to the back of his forearm for easy storage. And if you don't like how it looks on his arm, you can also rotate, attach, to his back to get it further out of the way. It's also got an articulated secondary handle, but nobody uses secondary handles, so why bother? The bazooka is pretty similar to the rifle. It looks great. The ammo comes out. You can close this up. You can extend the front. The side handle moves. And if you flip this peg out, you can store it on his back. You can do the same thing with the ammo pack. With the bazooka in his hand, he does look pretty cool, but I much prefer the rifle. Finally, you get an action-based connector for getting this guy in the air. It works perfectly fine. And that is the real grade Unicorn Gundam. It's a kit everyone thought they would hate but ended up loving instead. Many people have already praised the incredible structural integrity of this model. And while I agree that this kit is very sturdy, I wouldn't count that entirely as a plus. This is not a very fun model to handle, so if you're the kind of person that likes to pose and repose their kits, you might want to look somewhere else. But if you just want the absolute best Unicorn Gundam kit there is, it really doesn't get any better than this. And for that, the real grade unicorn gets a thumbs up. I'm Second Soundwave, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Be sure you subscribe if you haven't already for more awesome Gumpla content. And as always, I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.